Hey there viewers, welcome back to my youtube channel where we dive deep into the exciting world of coding and web development. Today I have something really interesting lined up for you. We will be learning how to create a very own number to roman converter. The page has a container with an input field and a convert button. When the button is clicked, the input value is converted to roman numeral and displayed as output. If the input is empty or contains invalid character, an error message is displayed. Like you can see in the example. Now let's learn how to create this converter. First off, we have a div element with a class container. This element serves as a main container for our converter. It provides a visually pleasing background and holds all the elements within it. Inside the container, we have another div element with the class input wrapper. This element is responsible for holding our input field and the convert button side by side. Next, we have input element with the type set to number and the ID set to input. This input field allows user to enter the number they want to convert into new Roman numerals. It has a placeholder enter number here. This is to provide hint to the user. Right next to the input field, we have a button element with the ID submit. This button triggers the conversion process when clicked. Moving on, we have a P element with the ID output. This element is where the converted Roman numeral will be displayed. Currently, it contains a span element with the text enter the number and hit convert. This serves as an initial instruction for the user. Finally, we have another P element with the ID error. This element is initially empty but will be used to display any error messages if the user enters invalid input or encounters an issue during the conversion process. Now we move on to CSS. First, we have the universal selector with some common styles. It sets the padding and margin to zero for all the element. It uses border box box sizing model and sets the font family to Poppins, which is a common sans serif font. Next, we target the body element and set its background color to a vibrant shade of blue. Moving on, we have the container class. This class is applied to the main container div element. It gives the container a white background color and set its width to be responsive using the min function. The width is calculated at ni as 90% of the viewport width or maximum of 450 pixels. The container is positioned absolutely with 50% translate and 50% from the top and left. Now, this enters the container on the page horizontally as well as vertically. We also add a padding of 3 am on top and bottom and 2 am on left and right. After that, we add a border radius of 0.8 em. Inside the container, we have an input prepper class. This class is responsible for creating a grid layout for the input field and the button. It uses display grid and sets the grid template columns to divide the available space into 9 is to 3 ratio with a gap of 1 em between the columns. The input element is style next. It has a padding of 1 em on top and bottom and 0.5 em on left and right. A text color of dark grey color is applied to the input. Next we apply a border of 2 px solid light grey. When the input is focused, the border color changes to blue, giving a visual indication to the user.
Next, we style the input element and the button element. We set the font size to um, I guess 1 em. Yeah, that would be enough. And outline to none. Now you can see the blue outline properly when focused. And the border radius to 0.5 em. The button element styles come next. It has no border, a background color of blue and a text color of white, creating a striking contrast. Both the input and the button elements have a font size of 1em as you have seen earlier. L moving on, we target the error ID which is the paragraph element used to display error messages. It has a background color of red, a text color of white and text align at center. Lastly, we have the output ID which is the paragraph element displaying the converted Roman numeral. It has a font size of 1.2 em. The text is aligned to center. It has a margin top of 2 em for spacing, a font weight of 600 for boldness and a text color of dark grey. Additionally, the nested span element within the output has a smaller font size. It has a font size of 0.9 em. That's it for the CSS code. It's responsible for the visual presentation of our number to Roman converter. Next, we will explore the JavaScript code that adds functionality to our web page. Before that, let me add some margins. And here we go, we are done with the CSS code. Now add this line of code to add the external script file to your HTML code. Moving on to JavaScript. First, we have four variable declaration using the let keyword input, button, error message and the output. We assign them the corresponding elements from the HTML using the getElementById method. These variables will allow us to interact with and manipulate the elements on our web page. Next, we define a constant variable called Roman object. This object serves as the base for a Roman numeral conversion. It contains key value pairs where each key represents a Roman numeral and its corresponding value represents the equivalent decimal value. This object provides us with the necessary conversion information. Moving on, we use the add event listener method to attach click event listener to the button element. This means that when the button is clicked, the function specified inside the event listener will be executed. In this case, we call the input to Roman function and pass the value of the input element as an argument. We also clear the value of input field element by assigning it to an empty string. This ensures that the input field is ready for the next number. Now let's examine the input to Roman function. This function takes a num parameter which represents the input number from the user. Inside the function we first convert the input number to an integer using parse int num. This ensures that we are working with a valid number for the conversion. We then check if the trimmed length of the input after removing the leading or trailing white spaces is zero. If it is, we display an error message by setting the inner HTML of the error message element to invalid input. Next, 
नेक्स्ट वी चेक बिफोर चेकिंग द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी हैव टू रिटर्न फॉल्स इन दिस इफ ब्लॉक सो आफ्टर दिस वी चेक इफ द इनपुट नंबर इज ग्रेटर दैन फोर नाइन 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 और लेस दैन वन इफ इट इज वी डिस्प्ले एन एरर मैसेज स्टेटिंग दैट द इनपुट इज आउट ऑफ रेंज अगेन वी सेट द इनर एच टी एम एल ऑफ द एरर मैसेज एलिमेंट अकॉर्डिंगली एंड रिटर्न फॉल्स Now we initialize the result variable to store the converted Roman numeral. We iterate over the keys of the Roman object using object dot keys, Roman object, and use a for loop. I mean for each loop to convert the input number to Roman numerals. We compare each Roman numeral's decimal value with the remaining number and append the corresponding Roman number. to the result string while decrementing the number accordingly finally we set the inner html of output element to the result which displays the converted roman numeral to the user let us remove the demo text and try to see if the code works properly and yes it does let us try some more inputs now let me enter a invalid number so it shows an error but it still displays the previous output so let us clear the previous output for this we set the inner html of output to an empty string in the both if conditions of the error and that's it that's a javascript code it adds interactivity to our web page and performs the actual conversion from decimal numbers to roman numbers i hope you found this explanation helpful if you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more such awesome coding tutorials till then happy coding